All new at 6 for you, the I-Team has learned that thousands of Florida students are considered missing from their school districts. They haven't been seen since the pandemic began. Our Katie Legrone explains how this happens, why it happens, and the drastic measures some districts are now taking to find these lost students. It's a little known, rarely talked about byproduct of the pandemic. There are students that we literally cannot find. And it's still hitting nearly every Florida school district. There are still lost kids. Yes, and, and kids that actually never came. For some districts, the number of students who have fallen off the school grid and haven't shown up to class remains in the thousands. Approximately under 2,000 students. Probably about 10,000. 10,000 students in Broward County alone who the district currently can't find. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot, yeah. It's an issue that isn't entirely new to schools. Students move out of cities, the state, or even the country all the time and don't always let their schools know. But when the pandemic forced schools to close and many households to lose their incomes, some students never returned back to campus, contributing to the state's overall decline in student enrollment, which was down 3% last year. It's unfortunate that the circumstances became this dire for families that these kids aren't in school. The problem of lost students in Florida has become so concerning. In a letter to school districts last spring, the state speaker of the House urged districts to work with every available resource to locate these missing children. We have a moral obligation to not allow any of these children to slip through the cracks, he stated. And this year, the state started requiring districts report how many unaccounted students they have, including those whose whereabouts remain unknown. We do know from past history, some of these students, um, due to circumstances, have left the country, had to take on jobs to support their families. Some really difficult, tough situations. With some 2,000 students still missing in Palm Beach County, the district has teamed up with the state attorney, child welfare, and the Department of Juvenile Justice to find its lost students. Social workers and case managers are being hired to help. And for the first time, the district has even hired an outside firm whose focus will be to hunt down these missing students. Do you believe that most of them are in the, are in the district or that they've left state, left country. Uh, I think that's a million dollar question, right? Once students are found, getting them back to the classroom may not be so easy. The district preparing to take drastic measures if necessary. If we find families and parents are refusing to send their kids to school, you know, that we do have to put a, a, a truancy packet together and, and to take these parents to court to let them know these kids do need to be in school. We hope we, we won't have to get to this point. For now, the focus is finding these students and getting them back to learning, however and wherever that might be. We are not in the blame game. This is about support. Figure it out. Get to the root cause. Get the support in place and get, get a family back on track. Part of the search has and continues to be literally knocking on doors to find these students and get them back to learning, even if it means adjusting their school hours, especially if they're holding down jobs. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.